a lot of us can, can lift heavy weight, go hard when it's heavy, and move weight. But I, I feel like the true dogs out there are the ones that can kill them with volume, kill them with reps. So, y'all keep that in mind. Okay, family, it has been a little minute. Welcome back to the tube. Okay, we're at Gold's Venice, the world famous Gold Venice, and we're gonna hit, you're gonna hit them with legs today. All right, we're definitely gonna do quads, break them down, give you the nitty and the gritty, and we might do some hamstrings as well if we have enough time, depending on how the energy level is and, um, and all that good stuff. So take a run with me, you know how we do it. We go hard, all right, guys, and we're gonna uh, break down some instructional stuff. You know how we do, let's have some fun, all right? We're gonna start here with extensions. And uh, I like extensions for two reasons. I like to warm up with extensions, get my knees warm, and then also to work on the actual muscle that we're working on with four extensions. And that is to work on the intermediates, fastest intermediates here in the middle, fam, okay? Without further ado, let's get it cracking. Extensions is not necessarily a, a mass building exercise. It's more for conditioning and shaping. And so that's what we're focusing on here. Your side shots, you're really able to see the effect of extensions. Extensions are great for the feathering of your quads and for the separation of you know, those three muscles, the lateralis, the intermedius, and the medialis. Okay, family, so a little different today. I know on the previous videos, you guys have seen that we, we, we put down the rep ranges, 12 to 15, but today we just rocking and rolling. We are just going to pretty much go to failure and whatever feels good, but it's not gonna, I don't have any reps in mind. Sets more so, yeah, three to four to maybe even five on some things. We're just going for the damn gusto and getting it. That's it. And then you guys also want to move the weight up and down, guys, with your quad, not your knees. Think about with your, your quad. And some people like to lean back to feel the stretch more on the way down, okay? That's fine. Some people like to lean forward, guys, to actually put more of the stress and get the mind-muscle connection on the top of the quad. I've done both, both work as far as the mind to muscle and just rock out on how you feel. Family, we moved on to reverse hack squat. Gonna do four sets here. I already just did two, two warm up sets, uh, 25 to 30 reps. What I'd like to focus on here is constant connection to the quad. And when I extend up, guys, I don't bring the pressure off the quad. I keep the pressure on the quad by flexing the quad and not flexing my glutes to, to put the pressure back there, but to keep it in front of me, to keep it on the quad, okay? So that's something to keep in mind. Normally, guys, when you are leaning forward, okay, like this one here, like we're doing here, leaning forward, you're gonna put pressure on your quad. People that are glute dominant, glute focused though, they can still find a way to make this into a glute hamstring. Uh, exercise make no mistake about it doing it right this is a quad focus exercise yes reverse now you see how I'm leaning back okay now we're talking about look at the look at the angle now we're talking about more of a glute focus more of a hamstring focus okay but we're putting it more to the front all right and then we'll we'll get to the glutes and hams when it's time so let's rock out
guys, I'm not doing crazy weight. The day of doing crazy weights and all that, day in, day out, are over, are past me for longevity and feeling. For sculpting purposes, guys, it's much more smart and much more effective to just have extreme focus with your, your mind muscle connection and your time under tension. If you notice in the last set, I held it for about a two count down in the hole at the bottom. And I'm also focusing on the negative. Remember guys, recruiting those muscle fibers is best in that eccentric negative motion, movement of the, of the exercise, all right? So don't get it twisted though. We still put some good amount of weight on there to fill it and to also put that type of stress on the muscle. But we, de we definitely are focusing a lot on tension, time under tension to the muscle, capiche? We didn't blow up the, uh, the quads before. We're really gonna do a number on them right now. We're gonna go single leg press. Guys, of course, we're gonna, we're gonna control the hell out of it. We're gonna hold some at the bottom, squeeze some at the top, focusing on the negative. Yes, and then we're gonna superset it with uh, standing lunges. Standing single leg uh, lunges. Okay, single leg press family. The main keys, and points for this exercise is uh, you don't want your foot uh, too far out side of your shoulder. You want to keep it about right at your shoulder, okay? Uh, as far as the width is concerned, because then you're talking about hip issues and you want to keep those 1,000. Uh, and also, you don't want your foot, you want to, it's a quad focus, guys, so we don't want our foot too high on the, on the platform, okay? Because now when we come down, it's more hamstring and glutes that are doing the pushing and that are doing the controlling on the way down. And specifically the focus, guys, is right here above the knee. That's the specific focus that I'm uh, focusing on and that I'm zeroing in on, okay? Then also, guys, when I am down in the hole, okay, I'm making sure that, my, that I'm going to press distributing the flat of my foot, okay? I'm not gonna press with my toe, cause then I'll keep the focus there, but I don't want the focus to stay there. I wanna get some high quad action as well on lateralis over here, okay? Not the heel, not the toe, but my whole foot. Capiche?
lunges here, okay? Uh, it's a quad focused lunge. You could do a glute and ham focus lunge and you could do a quad focus lunge. So I'm not gonna go past uh, 90 degrees, okay? I'm gonna keep it right here for the pressure all in here. If I go here, if I go here and I step back further and I go past 90 degrees, that's glute and ham focus. So for instance, if I'm here and see if I'm past 90, glute ham. But I'm gonna keep it here, short it, 90 degrees, okay? And my knee is gonna be directly over my toe. heavy weight, go hard when it's heavy, and move weight. But I, I feel like the true dogs out there are the ones that can kill them with volume, kill them with reps. So, y'all keep that in mind. Okay guys, a little um, loading technique I like to use on this last exercise of extensions, single leg extensions we're doing here. And I like to go 10 repetitions, guys, and then increase the weight about 10 pounds and do another 10 right away. And then on the second set, you start with the last set of 10 that you did and you go a heavier 10 uh, pound increase on the next 10. Three sets like that for a great finisher. And I guarantee you, your quads will look like a champs in no time. Bill, Sean, all staring at you, wondering what you're gonna do, wondering how hard you're gonna go. Saying, what you got, what you got? You can't disappoint. You can't disappoint. Where my picture at? One day, hey, one day Breon is gonna be staring at you guys when you're here. <laughs> one day. And final, uh, we ran out of time a little bit, guys. We were gonna do some some glutes and some hamstrings, but that's for another day. That's for tomorrow, and I'll, we'll have a video for you guys uh, with hamstring glutes for sure. But uh, Rome wasn't built in a day, all right. So we're gonna save it for tomorrow. Bring that video for you on another day, 
Um, and but what we are gonna do is finish up with calves. We're gonna finish up with the black guy. I got black man calves, guys. All right. So I need those Eastern European calves. You know what I mean? <laughs> Okay, family, that's all she wrote with the legs, quads, calves. Uh, we gave you guys some intensity. We gave you guys some instructional stuff, form, tips, and I hope you guys really enjoyed. I did when I'm wiped, and you know you're not uh, giving it a thousand percent unless you're wiped at the end of the, uh, the training. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, guys, of course, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you guys want to see in the future, and. I'll do my best to deliver, all right? Love you guys always, and see you guys on the next one.